What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? We are at the uh, the Shark Infested Dock. My dock, yes, the one and only best dock on YouTube, the Fish Guy Chris Dock. <laughs> There's a ton of little fish down there that I'm looking to catch. I'm looking to catch a lot of them. So we got some work to do here, ladies and gents. We got some work to do. Okay, so so the first time I did this, I used a rod and reel. I did catching fish under my dock with a rod and reel. Then I used a fish trap, but today, hold on, excuse me. Let me just uh, document this. Every time, not a time goes by where that doesn't happen. So today we are using something completely different. We are using this net contraption here. Look at this thing. This is a giant contraption. Look at the size of this. It's huge. It's a giant circle net and uh, look at it. It's giant. I can't even pick it up because it's so big. Look how big this thing is. It's massive. Look at that. That is what we're using today to see if we can catch fish with that under my dock. I'm trying to catch some smaller fish, some cooler looking fish. And what we're going to do, we're kind of kind of use it like a fish trap. I'm going to put it down there, throw it down there. And this thing actually has a rope on it where you can just pull it up like this. Just like that, you pull it up with this rope and uh, the fish won't see it because it's like translucent in the water. So the fish will not see it. I'm going to pull it up really quick. I'm going to throw some shrimp in the bottom so all the fish start coming. Pull it up and we're going to see what we can catch, ladies and gents. That is our game plan today. Cross your fingers. We're going to catch something good. Now, as you guys know, last time um, I did this video, there was a ton of mullet that jumped out of the water. You guys loved that clip. And you guys also loved me throwing this thing around. And one of these days, I'm going to catch a big fish with it. So in between setting the trap and waiting a little bit, I'm going to throw this thing around, see if we can catch something bigger. If this one doesn't work, because I think this is a little bit too big, I'm going to try this right here, which is a, it's a shrimp lure. Look at that. Tiny little shrimp. Put a hook through it. Probably did it wrong, but whatever. I put a little, put a little hook through it. I'm going to try this if the big one fails, because I know for a fact there's giant fish around here. I'm, I'm due to catch one, guys. One of these days. I may not catch it today. But one of these days, every time I'm out here by this dock, I'm going to try to throw that lure, see if we can catch something. So, wish me luck. The day has just begun, ladies and gentlemen. I already see boils over there. There's big fish. I'm telling you. Hopefully, I catch something cool for you guys. Guys, look at the size of this thing. Whoa! I almost just fell in. Look at the size of this thing. This thing is massive. Absolutely huge. This is what we're using today. An absolute giant net. Look at this. Huge. Absolutely massive. I'm gonna throw that thing down with some shrimp on it. Hopefully it gets to the bottom. I'm probably gonna have to use a lot of shrimp today because those snappers are just gonna take everything. So let's get it down there. This is drop number one, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, we will catch something freaking awesome. I hope, I hope. You never know. You never know in these streets. Look at this thing. I'm gonna drop it down. Now check that out right there. You guys can see it just floating there or just, it's actually sunk all the way to the bottom. So that's perfect. Now we gotta wait till fish swim right over that. Then we're gonna pull it up and we will catch a freaking awesome fish. So let's try to shum this up with some shrimp. I'm just gonna throw one in there, see if it sinks to the bottom. The, the fish are probably gonna have to get used to it before they swim in there. So let's see if uh, any fish want that shrimp or they're gonna let it sink to the bottom. Hopefully it goes to the bottom and it's going down and down and it is at the bottom. Perfect. Now we wait. You know what? I'm gonna pull it right now. There's a bunch of fish right there. There's a bunch of little fish right there. I'm gonna pull it right now guys just like that we caught something just like that baby took two seconds and we already caught fish I'm gonna try to grab them out of here they're really tiny okay they're flopping around everywhere I'm gonna try to show you guys in my hand Look at these guys that we've caught already. Five little tiny glass minnows. Yes, they're all over my dock. This is a good sign because when these guys are around, that means bigger fish are around. So let me zoom in and show you guys. Look at these little things. They're literally mini pilchards. They're tiny, tiny, tiny glass minnows. This one's got some cool color on them. These are perfect to feed all my fish with. So I may save some of these live guys in a bucket and uh, feed my fish once we're done here. So these are awesome first start. These are an awesome first catch after five seconds of that net being in the water. I'm telling you guys, we're catching something cool today. Look at those. They got some rainbow colors on them. Pretty cool fish. Just little glass minnows. There's millions of them around my dock, because guess what? You know what actually likes to eat these? Big snook, big, big snook, and huge tarpon love glass minnows. Absolutely love them. They cannot get enough of them. So hopefully because there's a lot of glass minnows around when I, when I throw that lure, could land a tarpon, could land a snook, could land a giant jack. You never know. The fish guy dock is alive and well. Let's drop that net again. Drop numero dos. Still got that piece of shrimp in there, which is perfect. I swear that net was in the water for five seconds. I'm gonna use this net more, guys. So I'm definitely gonna use this net in a lot more videos. Let me know by liking this video if you want me to use this net in more remote areas. Like we go to that jet ski spot and use this net. <laughs> I think we catch a lot of cool stuff. Also, I wanted to give you guys a like goal. So I wanna know if you guys, if I should actually 
actually do it. So if this video gets 2,000 likes, I think I'm actually gonna order, I found one online, I'm gonna order the 24 seven camera under the dock so we can be running at all times and we can really see some cool stuff that swims by. So if this video gets 2,000 likes, I will buy that camera, set the whole thing up and it will be awesome to see some sharks that swim by the stock. Now let's give this net a little bit of time and uh, see what I can catch with that lure. I'm gonna throw it around a bit. You know, I love setting up the camera like this because that American flag, baby, America. You know, as I'm throwing this lure and I'm reeling it in, I see hundreds of little pops as this thing's going by. That's all the glass minnows. My, this whole canal is filled with glass minnows right now. That's a good sign, wish me luck. All right, no hits on this bad boy just then. I'm gonna give it a little bit more time, throw it again, and I think I'm gonna put that shrimp on. I think this thing's a little bit too big. Everything, everything's scared of it. I don't know, because the big fish like big, big lures, so we'll, we'll see. Let's pull this net up again. Now, guys, another reason for this video today is because I wanna see which is the best method for catching my first aquarium fish for my saltwater pond. Is it gonna be using a rod and reel? Is it gonna be using this net? Or is it gonna be using the traps? So we're gonna see which of the three is the best option, and then when we wanna catch fish for the saltwater pond, we will choose that option. We're gonna, just gonna slay out and catch a bunch of stuff for that saltwater pond. So let's see how this net works out. We're gonna pull it up again and see what's inside. All right, round number two. Let's go ahead and pull this net up and see what we got. Oh, we got something. We got something. Let's go, let's go. This net is actually clutch. World's largest net, we got a fish. So they go through this entire little tube here and they always end up at the bottom when you pull it up. So we gotta go through here. We got more glass minnows, definitely more glass minnows, and look at this, you got a classic in here. You got a classic puffer. Look at this guy, he's a tiny dude. Look at that little dude, classic puffer, absolutely chilling. Look at this guy interrupting me. That's a freaking AC-130 bomber. Interrupting my filming with the puffer fish. That's a freaking, that's a giant plane. Why, why, dude, why? Crazy, man. There must be an airstrip around here. But check this guy out. Little, little puffer, tiny dude with the red eyes. He's an absolute classic here at the dock. Now, so far already, I like the fish trap better already. Let me know what you guys think in the comments because uh, with the fish trap, we actually weeded out the puffers and the snappers. And uh, today, we've already caught a puffer. So I think I'm liking the fish traps better. But you know, we're gonna drop the net one more time, see if we can get something cool. Let's throw this dude back. Here, buddy. Puffer, glass minnows. Hopefully the third drop, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit longer, throw some more shrimp in there, see if we can get something even better. Here we go, drop number three. Still already got shrimp in there, so I'm just gonna let that sit, and I'm gonna tie on that shrimp, see if we can catch something better with the shrimp. You never know. <laughs> it's the FGC dog, good dog. All right guys, we tied the shrimp on, check it out. This may be better than the bigger lure that looks like a fish, so the shrimp. Let's give this a couple tosses, and then we'll pull up the net for the third time. Hopefully I get something on this. It's starting to rain now, so hopefully, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but wish me luck. One of these days, guys, I promise. Come on, get some Fs in the chat. Fs in the chat for Chris, fish guy Chris, catching a fish on his dock with rod and reel on a lure. Come on, we can make it happen. Let's try it. Look, see, he even wants me to catch one. He's the best. Guys, it's starting to rain pretty bad right now, so I'm gonna have to give this a rest, but I saw like 25 puffers chasing this thing. That's not our target species. It is about to pour right now. We better pull up this uh, this third net here. All right, y'all, net number three in the rain. Let's see what we got. Oh my God. No freaking way. No freaking way. Look what I just caught. How am I gonna get this thing out? No freaking way. Okay, I need to be careful. Look at this, guys. I did not think I would ever catch one of these. I need to back this up. Um, Look at that right there. I caught another puffer, but look at this. I need to be super careful. His spines are stuck in the net. Shoot. How am I gonna get this guy out? This is dangerous. This is very dangerous. I cannot get pricked by this guy. Get in the net. Oh my God. Look what I caught. What do you got? A freaking lion. What the hell is that? A lionfish? Bastards. We need to like tear them off. They're invest invading our dock. And I got a puffer. They're in the dock? They're in the dock. We must destroy them. Guys, I caught two things and you're not gonna believe what I caught. I was, that was, Close call, and I cannot believe that they're at my dock. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. I caught another puffer here. Small guy again, it's probably the same exact one who went after the shrimp again. Let's throw him back, just a puffer, but check out the second fish I caught. I cannot believe that these things are at my dock. He was stuck in the net. I almost got pricked by him like three times because he kept going back in the net. His spines were stuck in the net, but he kept going towards like the tunnel part. That was crazy. My dad came out here, he's like, no way, they're under, the, the lionfish are under the dock. Guys, look at this thing I caught. I caught a baby lionfish that is never a good sign we've caught these things so so much recently they are 
everywhere right now in Florida. Everywhere. I cannot believe I caught that thing. Look at that. He was probably going in for the shrimp. I pulled up the net quickly and he just got stuck in the net right in the top of the net. He didn't go all the way down to the bottom. He was stuck right in the top. But the bad part is, is my dock, I don't want the lionfish at my dock at all. They're probably gonna eat all the cooler fish that I can catch with my trap. Guys, I think we're on a mission right now. FGC is gonna have to come out here, put his big boy pants on on a sunny day, get his spear gun, swim this dock, and kill as many lionfish as I can. These things, you are, you have to kill them when you see them, when you catch them. FWC says they are super bad for the ocean, for the environment. They eat everything and nothing can eat them because they're poisonous. And it is pouring rain right now. Look at that. That is a lion fish. I can't let him go. I and mean, there's no way I'm letting him back in the water. That is the number one thing you can, you could do not do. If you catch a lionfish, you cannot put them back in the water. They are super, super invasive, super bad for the, for the ocean. They eat everything. And I don't want them to eat the cool fish under my dock. It is pouring rain right now. What happened? I got to get inside. I cannot believe I caught that in this net. This net, I like it. I like this net. I got to get out of the rain. Well, at the beginning of this video, it was actually a nice day. And now it is a torrential downpour. Look at this rain coming down from all sides, baby. That's Florida for you. One second it's sunny, the next it's a hurricane. It is pouring right now. Now guys, I really genuinely don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing or with my dock. Now that I've caught a lionfish at my dock, that makes me e even more intrigued to get that 24-7 that camera because I'm curious, what if there's hundreds of them down there? And I'm gonna have to do some serious uh, extermination. Like this guy, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with him. I don't know what to do with him. I don't wanna put him in my pond because I told you guys, I wanna swim in there. I don't want like frogfish or toadfish or lionfish going in there because if I have to move stuff around, I could get pricked by that. So I don't wanna put lionfish in my pond. That is not the first fish I wanted to put in my pond. So I don't know what I'm doing with him, but you guys need to drop a like on this video so we can get that 24 hour camera because what if the, what if I put that camera down there and there's just hundreds of lionfish? That would blow my mind. I would have to get in the water and spear them all. Can you imagine fish guy Chris in the dock, under the dock? That'd be a very terrifying experience for me. Guys, I gotta end it here because it started pouring rain, but we caught some glass minnows that I'm gonna feed to my fish now actually. We caught two puffer fish in this net and we caught a lionfish. I cannot believe. The only reason we caught that I think is because I pulled it up really quick. I don't think it was all the way in the net because then it would have went to the bottom but I pulled it up really quick and it was just stuck in the side of it. I need that 24 hour camera guys. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie I think the fish traps are better than the net. The net was good especially if it's gonna catch lionfish like that but I think the traps are better. Let me know in the comments what you guys think trap or net. Let me know and I'll make that video happen for my next for, the, for when we put fish into the saltwater pond. So let me know and I'll make it happen. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.